Feedback is a terrific looking movie. It looks really polished. It has really interesting locations considering it's a fairly small movie. We get Eddie Marsden as a shock jock, a talk host in a late uh, radio show. Jarvis is his name and he is, at the start of the movie, having a conversation with one of his ex-partners in his boss's office and he's told that he has to work with this guy yet again. He doesn't want to. There seems to be some bad blood between them but he is well, forced into doing it and he has to. He goes to the studio to do his programme and get started and he knows like an hour into it that his ex-partner is going to come and join them and they're going to have to work out their differences while making this show go forward. But when he gets into the studio, he discovers that masked people have broken in. They've taken over. They're talking to him through the headphones. They're threatening uh, the production staff that are there. If he doesn't keep this show going, if he doesn't say or ask the questions that he wants asked, then they will brutally hurt somebody and it will be his fault. It has that feeling of phone booth about it. You know, you get a really good actor, put them in one location, you create a character that seems uh, really good and interesting and three-dimensional and he has this great monologue at the start where he's rattling off this speech about Brexit and political uh, intrigue and things like that going on and it's really good, it's delivered in a nice fashion by Marsden and you just you buy into this character. When his partner is thrown into the scene and we already know the stakes and questions start to get asked is when you start to realise that these may not be the best of people and it becomes a kind of mystery movie as well as a survival movie. We're locked into a few locations. But, like I said, the locations are stunning looking. They are different, they are varied and they're fun to be in. This movie rests on the shoulders of Eddie Marsden and he does terrific work as this character of Jarvis. This character who you're never quite sure if it's all an act. If he did do something, if he didn't do something, how has he been wrapped up in this? Was he dragged into it by his ex-co-presenter who seems to have, or seems to be, a much more deplorable kind of a uh, shock jock? But it's fun. It's great. You get this mystery that is drip fed and, and unravels in front of you. You're never quite sure if uh, people are good or bad or if they're mistaken or if things have got out of hand or if things aren't being told truthfully. And that leads to different things. You know, is this person telling the truth? Aren't they? I'm kind of edging around the surface of this because I didn't know what was happening during the movie until the information was released and I found revelation after revelation and more. Aha! moments as I watch the movie go on and I want you to get the same thing when you watch feedback. It looks great, it's got great performances. You think it's going to be one thing because you have these home invasion type of things, but this primarily is and they go a certain way but this doesn't do it. There is a point behind them breaking into this studio that you don't get until later on, something that has transpired in Jarvis's past possibly, or something that he may just have been dragged into that wasn't entirely of his own creation. It has these tense moments, it has these vicious, bloody moments as well. There is people dying horrible deaths and it's all contained within this sound studio and it's all to continue this broadcast as well. This show is live. He has to compose himself and, and make sure that the show goes out as typically as it does. It's fantastically well done. There is great imagery, there are shocking moments of gore, there is a towering performance by Marsden, who I've said several times is just great in this movie. The cinematography is stunning. The characters that are there have to do several things because they're not just atypical characters, they have more going on behind it that gets drip fed throughout the movie, so they have to do multiple things and you become quite a layered movie. When you get to the end, I wasn't entirely sure I was completely satisfied with that but it seems plausible enough as to what happened in the events prior. I think Feedback is a great movie, really fun, really similar to Phone Booth, great character performance, great direction, great cinematography, a great look about the production design as well. Highly recommended. I'd love to know your thoughts and feedback. Let me know in the comment box below and I'll see you next time on Man Vs Film.